Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Burning Angels, Spirit Guides, and Divine Light Light is this reading for Cancer. Show me clear and honest messages for Cancer. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, just so you know, I do not read reversals. So if you see a card come out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot, just so you're aware. So let's get right into this. Spirit, how does this person feel about cancer? How does this person feel about cancer? Thank you. So we're getting the Eight of Pentacles here. You could work with this person um, or just have the same, uh, like you're in the same field of work. But also I feel like this person is working on, yeah, I was gonna say communication, working on how they wanna come forward here to you. It's like they, they, they know that adjustments need to be made here in some way, shape or form. Um, I feel like this person um, has the tendency to kind of just say things, not really thinking them through. And so they're working on that, I feel. I feel like they know with you, Cancer, like words carry a lot of meaning, whereas this person I feel could be very sarcastic at times or like very jokey. And um, <laughs> I just heard, it, and it's annoying, right? So I just feel like there's this energy where this person is like, okay, like I got to be a little more careful with like how I say things. Um, but also like, I feel like they, they want to come forward to you here. They feel like there, there's like a sense of urgency here to come forward. Tell me about that Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person wants to offer you something here, uh, Cancer. I almost called you Capricorn. I don't know why. This person wants to offer you something solid here, right? Like a brand new beginning here. So if you feel like you've already been dealing with this person um, and you've kind of told them like, hey, like the way you talk or like when you say some of that stupid shit, like you got you to stop doing that. They want to start, start fresh. If this is someone brand new, it's just someone who realizes that like they need to work on how they approach you basically is what I'm getting. Um, they don't want to, they don't want to be, just be like impulsive about it and just like go in and be like, oh, I'll just wing this with cancer. But at the same time, I feel like that's also part of their personality. Like they're, they're very much just like a, oh, I just thought about that. I'm just going to go do it kind of person. Um, but yeah, they do want to offer you something solid here. I feel like they, they want to work with you to understand what would be needed in order to make this work basically. Um, mm -hmm. heavy earth energy. Yeah. I'm even seeing the Knight of pentacles here, but let's see their actions in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards cancer? So we're getting the Three of Swords here. Um, tell me about this Three of Swords, please. Thank you. The Knight of Cups. Interesting. Tell me about the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah. I feel like this person wants to... Um... Okay. If this person... If you know who I'm already talking about, and this is not a brand new person, which is what I'm picking up on, I feel like this person knows that they could have like played mind games with you. They could have, you know, um, 
tried to get away with things with you just kind of like this push and pull that was like unnecessary and i feel like this person wants to come in and kind of like make it better make it right basically they could be a water sign like yourself pisces cancer scorpio they want victory here with you they want to come out on top they want this to be better right like that fresh start like i was saying like they know there's something they need to adjust something they need to work on here this person has deep feelings for you here with this queen of cups energy right you know this was the type of person who wouldn't always reciprocate when you would say something sweet to them they would kind of just like joke like be jokey and like be sarcastic or what have you they realize that in those moments there's a time and a place right for for being silly and for being serious right like when you're talking about your feelings it's like more like there doesn't need to be a joke every single time and i feel like this person understands that um they don't want to hurt you right like they really don't that's what i'm getting like with this knight of cups and the queen of cups energy it's like they want to show you that they care right and i feel like it's easier for this person to show that with um actions as opposed to words so this person could do sweet gestures um they're definitely coming in it looks like you know they want to offer you something take you out somewhere nice you know message you what have you say let's get together you know i've been thinking about you or something like that but this person has a difficult time saying and this is how i feel right but but it's there there's deep feelings there um anything else about this three of swords please spirit the queen of wands interesting okay tell me more about that three of swords tell me more about that three of swords for the spirit thank you for the messages so far Oof. you're getting the eight of swords the king of wands and the four of wands fire energy here aries leo sagittarius um, first of all, cancer, the, the, the physical attraction between the two of you is very, very strong, right? I am getting that there's a, there's a divine match here. The King and the Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like this person here, they want long-term commitment here with you with that four of wands energy right? This is, you know, halfway to marriage. This is moving in. This is engagement, what have you, like whatever that next big step might be for you. I feel like this person wants that, but they're in their head about it. Um, tell me about that eight of swords. Thank you. The sun and the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. It's almost like happiness scares the crap out of this person. It's like cancer with you. They feel it. They know they see the long term. They see the happiness. They see the abundance that could come from this. They see, you know, having a family if that's, you know, um, in the cards for you. It could just be it could be children. It could be pets. What have you just coming together for long term here, long term stability. I feel like this person sees all of that with you, but it it's like they're in their head about it. It's almost like that's too much for them. And and it's interesting because I feel like that's what uh, like the Queen of Cups energy was trying to tell me. The feelings are there. It's not about the feelings not being there. It's about this person almost being fearful of how good it could be. I'm also getting, you know, this person could have had their heart broken by someone that they thought they could have maybe ended up with or that they had a strong uh, attraction with. But I feel like what I'm picking up mostly here with this four of wands, ten of pentacles, the sun here, um, cancer, this, this person wants this with you. There's almost like a fear of heartbreak here, a fear of uh, like this person really likes their independence, right? Like they really like to do their own thing. Like even like the fact that they're like, Hey, like I need to kind of like adjust like how I come forward to cancer here. Like that's new for them. And they're like, Holy, like this is actually happening. Like this is it. And they can see this with you Four pentacles, four, sorry, four of wands, 10 of pentacles, the sun. Tell me about this eight of swords, please spirit. I feel like that one was like jumping up. Yeah. Look at that. The nine of cups. I'm telling you, like, it's almost like happiness, like, scares this person. It's, like, complete joy and, like, exactly what they want scares them. It's, like, this person could have, you know, scripted, manifested, you know, universe, I want this. I want, you know, a loving, caring, um, attractive person who I get along with and, 
you know, who communicates well with me and who's, who's nurturing and you're all those things, cancer. It's like, they're literally getting exactly what they want. And then they're in their head about it. Like, look at all this happiness here. They, they, okay. So I just got to go back to this. They feel like you are, especially physically. I feel like what's that Drake song? Like best I ever had. Yeah. That's how they feel about you. But it's not just about that, right? They also feel very deeply for you here. I feel like you're getting them in touch with their feminine side that they're not used to being in touch with. I feel like they're used to just kind of being in this kind of energy in connections. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like it's you're bringing out this feminine energy in them where they, they see all this happiness. They see all this joy here cancer so they're definitely coming forward here so if you're like there's absolutely no one in my life i have no idea who you're talking about this is going to be someone who feels it right away with you but they're gonna kind of be like they're gonna with this knight of swords i just keep getting like, they're gonna be silly they're gonna be like they're gonna act like they're not in their feels they're gonna act like nothing bothers them like oh what like you know and maybe maybe that's true maybe they're like a very like easygoing mindset towards life but the fact of the matter is they care very deeply for you. And I feel like there's like a fear here, like I'm overthinking here of, of heartbreak, right? Of like, holy shit, this is actually really, really, really good. You know, I could see all of this with cancer. Oh my God, it's here. It's here, right? That, that's what I'm getting. So let's see this person's intentions. What is this person's intentions? Oh, I'm trying to go the other day. So usually when they when I'm told to go to the other deck, it's because there's cards on the board that are already out that need to come out again. But we'll see. Um, Spirit, what what uh, is this person's intentions with Cancer? What is this person's intentions with Cancer? Feel free to just fast forward through these moments because I don't rush shuffling. You know, I just wait for the cards to flip out or fall out. So yeah, don't want to rush the process, but don't want to waste your time either. Thank you. We got the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person wants to build with you, right? And especially whatever they've accumulated themselves, they want to share it with you, right? This person, I, I feel is very generous. They are a very generous person, right? And they're and they're coming out with how they feel as the Ace of Pentacles. Like I do feel like they financially, like they their their love language could be gift giving, right? Or acts of service, like I was saying. But but you know, like words of affirmation is not, or like you know, it's it's more difficult for them. Physical touch could be their love language. Um, but let's see, what else is their intention for for Cancer, please, Spirit? Yeah, this person wants to take care of you. They want to provide um, with this King of Pentacles energy. I feel like, again, they don't have to be a male, but I feel like they're very much in their masculine energy. Um, look at that. As I said that, the Queen of Cups is coming out again. So I'm telling you, this is what usually, like when I go to the deck, it's the other deck. This is how they how they're coming towards you. And this is their intention, right? The queen of cups is someone who not only loves deeply and understands their emotions and tries to understand that of others around them, but like offers it, offers that love, offers that empathy, right? This is what this person is intending with you. They want to take care of you and they want to be emotionally stable here with you. But I, I honestly am just getting cancer. This is new to this person. It's new territory. This, this feminine energy of feeling your feelings and understanding them and naming them and talking about them and communicating is like, is, is not what this person usually does. Cause there's no communication on the board. <laughs> the only communication here is the Knight of Swords with the, with the sword up. And what, what does the Knight of Swords do? It says stupid shit. It just like, bur like says things like impulsively. And then is like, ah, oh, like maybe that wasn't that funny, but they're working on it is what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, no, this person looks like they're genuine. They, they genuinely want to take care of you. They want to, they want to love you. Anything else for this person's intentions, please spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Got the four of swords. Yeah. 
This person wants to think before they speak, basically, with that four of swords. But just expect, Cancer, that they, they do um, take time for themselves quite a bit. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But they want to invest here. The seven of pentacles. They re they're thinking hard about this, right? Because I feel like, again, this is not something that they expected in this connection. Um, it's, again, wish fulfillment here. But it's it's new territory, so it feels very unknown. But like they're really thinking about the long term here, right? Planting those seeds to grow something beautiful. I mean, you're getting the four of wands, the ten of pentacles, and the sun. Like, yeah, this person wants all of that, all of the cancer. Let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome between cancer and this person, please, spirit? Look at that. The king of wands again and the sun again. Cancer. Who is this? Sorry. So they could be a Leo. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag is here. There's not a lot of air. There's a little bit of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person sees happiness with you. They're, the physical attraction again. Like I just have to say like best I ever had Drake. Like if you haven't heard that song, which I don't know. I don't know how unlikely it would be that you haven't, but best I ever had, right? Like this, like the, off the charts, but more than that, the sun twice here now, happiness, abundance, warmth. I feel like you bring this to this person's day, even like a good morning text. They feel like it's like the best way to start off their day, right? There's a lot of joy here. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of um, warmth and ease and comfort. And even if you're just Netflix and chilling, I feel like it's like, it feels so right is what I'm getting. Um, and the passion, there's insane passion here. Wow. Anything else for the potential outcome, please, Spirit? You're getting the four of pentacles again. Didn't we get the four of pentacles? No, we didn't. Okay, four of pentacles. Sorry, I'm just like trying to see if there were doubles. Um, anything else, spirit? Again, I feel like this person does hold back a little bit. Yeah, this person does hold back. They're protecting their heart, right? The four of pentacles, they, they hold back a little bit and that could cause a little bit of turmoil here is what I'm getting, right? Because Cancer, I feel like you're the type where you're like, emotions are my jam and not only are they my jam let's talk about them let's not just talk about them let's identify them let's find out the triggers of our emotions like you're like all about it right so this person has has difficulty with that right they could be younger than you they just could have like less experience with that that's what i'm getting i just feel like this is new territory for them cancer so there could be like some tiffs here right with that with that uh five of wands i'm not getting like you know, that, that toxic cycle of like scream, fight, break up, get back together. Like, no, 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 no. I just feel like there could be like these little, like, I don't even want to call them arguments because they don't even feel that big when I'm feeling that card right now, that energy. I just feel like it's like, listen, this is what I need from you. So like, I need you to step up your game. And this person's like, well, like, I don't really think it's that important or whatever. And then you'll be like, well, no, if like, it, it's important to me. So I need you to understand the importance of it. And then they're like, okay, yeah, like maybe you're right. Like I get like, see how that wasn't even an argument it was just like a it's, it's almost just like teaching each other about each other right but i feel like this person wants to step up they do and there's a lot of happiness here right so let's see so i got a new deck the kipper deck i'm still familiarizing myself with it but we'll see what comes out all my decks are listed in the description if you're interested spirit what messages do you have for cancer here please This person cares a lot about you, Cancer. They really do. So even when you feel like they don't, they do. That's what I'm getting. We got community. So you could be seeing threes or nines. I am seeing child at the bottom. One of you could have a child or you could almost feel like, you know, when, pe when someone's described as childish, it's seen as negative right? Depending on the context. I feel like this person has a youthful energy about them, right? But they're willing to kind of understand you better to give you what you need, right? And, and a sense of belonging here is what I'm getting with that community card. You two will feel like you just kind of like belong together. I know that sounds corny, but it's true. 
Any other messages? Thank you. We got unexpected income. Whew. Cancer. There's that king of pentacles. Even that ten of pentacles there. Right? I just feel like, and, and I don't feel like this person's just going to be like, here's a bunch of money, but I do feel like they don't mind spending it. Right? I feel like they're doing well for themselves as well. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer here, please? Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, struck by love. I'm telling you, Cancer. Mm hmm. That's how this person feels. Thank you. We got self indulgence, self worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. This could be what you feel like you're doing right now for yourself, Cancer. Any other messages? Thank you. We got clock, needing time, cycles and takes time, time to heal, progressing, right? So I feel like this person, again, there's this aspect of kind of, you know, and you're not trying to mold anyone that you meet into your perfect version of whatever they need to be, but you do teach them things, right? Like if this person doesn't realize that if they don't, you know, call you at a certain time when they usually do and, and to you it's like well why didn't you call them for them they're just like oh like whatever like it's not a big when you bring that to their attention and you say hey like listen like I need you to kind of like do xyz I feel like this person's understanding and they're gonna be like yeah okay like I just didn't know that right like there, there's an aspect of teamwork here but there is this energy of like again not molding this person because you don't do that with people but just kind of like, like you're just learning about each other, right? I do feel like this person just has like a very like la-di-da, like laissez-faire, like, like mindset. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like, again, when it comes to the communication piece, that's what's lacking here. There's love, there's abundance, there's passion, there's even money here. But the communication is a little, could use some work, right? That's all, that's what I'm basically getting. So let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer here? Thank you. We got wait. I just heard wait for them to show you. Wait for them to show you is what I heard. Thank you. Ask for help from others. And opportunity. I can't help but connect that to that unexpected income as well. That could be completely unrelated as well, but you know, I'll just leave that because that could resonate differently for you all. Let's see, Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer, please? Thank you. Don't let pride get in your way. There's more of that Leo energy, but it's, you know, it's again. So the example that's coming to my mind right now, Cancer, is if this person is doing something that bothers you, and you're used to kind of just being like, oh, well, they like they should know that or like they should figure that out or whatever. That's your ego. That's your ego. That's your pride talking, right? This person has difficulties communicating. I'm just going to say that right out the gate, right? Um, I guess I've been saying that, but you know, just straight like that. This person has difficulty communicating. So instead of, oh, well, they should know or like what have you, or they're doing that on purpose to hurt me. People, people are only acting in the way they know how to act, right? But this person is willing to learn is basically what I'm getting. Thank you. Take time to breathe out, especially if this person pisses you off, I guess. Your dreams need a practical plan. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, let's see what we got here. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer, please? Thank you. We got co-create. That does not surprise me. Working together, right? I feel, again, this is so fitting. Thank you, spirit. I feel like cancer, this is you. The owl, the wise owl right? That, that, that just knows, just knows what to do. And then here comes along this person, you know, fast incoming energy, impulsive a little bit here, but look, willing to learn, willing to sit, willing to listen and look at their egg that they created. 
right? It's not fully cheetah, it's not fully owl, it's a little bit of both. Not to say you're gonna create an egg, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I feel like what you will create, whatever that looks like, is a little bit of both of you. There's just a learning aspect here. I hope that makes sense. Okay, number 40. And I can't help but notice that this one, number 40, this card, is right before 41, which is soulmates, right? So I feel like moving into that soulmate energy requires this co-creation. Sorry, let me just read it. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You're going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get some of these here, Cancer. Let's see. Um, these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. So we got L. The number two just fell on my lap. You are E P Y and the number five, which is the number of change. Okay, Cancer, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.